And here we have the game we are going to review. 20 small mazes. We played, actually I'm color matched with the logo, so bad idea. Should wear a different color. We played 20 small mazes by chance. I came across on the same week, there was a gap, so I put it there, uh, so I could prepare the stream and let you know in advance that we were playing this one. And what a nice surprise. Bottom line, I liked this small game. Very small, very clear in its proposal. That's bottom line, like TLDR. After my opinion, this will be what I have to say about this game. Fun, short, straight to the point, and clear in its proposal. And this clear in its proposal for me, it's very important because the game needs to be clear. Not what the publisher says, but once you start the game, you need to know what you're getting into, what you're gonna have, and also be surprised, but pleasantly surprised. So this game is called 20 Small Mazes. So I was expecting mazes, like labyrinths, 20 of them, probably short. So it's not like one or one very complex because there are 20, so I was expecting like small ones, and I didn't get that. Compared to what I was expecting, I didn't get 20 small mazes. I got 20 small gimmicks, which, as I said, it was a pleasant surprise. Because 20 small mazes either or have 20 gimmicks, or if I have to do the same thing 20 times, and it's just a traditional regular maze, it's going to be 20 small boring times. So. I think it's even better than I got something better than what I was expecting. It's also possible that I didn't know what I wanted. It's also possible. Or didn't know what to expect exactly. Probably the first one, I didn't know what I wanted. Small mazes, but what about them? And before I start talking about the game, let me explain something because it will help me articulate what I want to say about the game. So first thing, first impression is always through the visuals. And my first impression about this game is like, oh, this is going to be hard to look at because I saw an image, a capture, screen capture with all the mazes uh, piled up, like one on top of the other. It was like saturated, too much information. And then I was thinking, this game doesn't look very pretty. It's going to be hard to look at, but it's an indie game. Let's give it a chance because in the games they don't have the most resources, they do the best with the little they have, so let's give them the benefit of the doubt, always. I start the game and the design is okay, it's okay, it's kinda minimal, and then when you solve the maze that is the menu itself, then you are presented with the first maze and then after that one solve the first one you are given the other 19 all at once but they are presented in order so i'll talk about this in a second this visual communication i have to say in retrospective i think they are this way because the game what it's looking for or it's after is not making itself the game pretty but what is after is communicating small ideas as fast as possible. So each of the 20 mazes, they have a unique gimmick. And what the developer was, I believe, trying to achieve is to communicate the gimmick as fast and clearly as possible without beautiful design, nothing distracting, nothing that drives your attention to no, no, no. These are the elements that compose the maze. This is what you deal with. Look at this, just this. And it's going to last, the, apparently, or supposed to last uh, very little, that you won't have time to appreciate the design or beautiful aesthetic or anything. So that's the point. Summarizing, I believe this game follows the, the ideals, the rules of a type of design that it's called no design design. And this is not the same as being minimal or minimalistic design. Minimalistic or minimal design is different from no design design. Now that we know there are different things, minimalism looks 
to reduce everything to its minimal expression and remove e any decoration, anything, everything unnecessary, just the minimal things that work properly uh, that make the thing work properly or for whatever idea is behind if it's art or if it's something functional that's what minimalism is after this game doesn't follow the rules of minimalism this game i believe it follows the way i see it these the ideas of no design design so what is no design design no design design is a type of design that it's similar to minimalism but the the main focus is not to reduce everything to its minimal expression, but it prioritizes being functional and making sure that it transmits the information properly, correctly, as fast as possible. So examples of no design design are an instruction manual. If there are drawings or if the text is arranged in a specific way, it is like that because it's the best way to transmit the information from its pages, from the paper to the user. So if you have to assemble flat furniture or packed furniture from IKEA, for example, you'll get a, a piece of paper with the instructions. It's not text, it's just drawings. But these drawings are not made for you to look at them and think, oh, these are beautiful. They are this way because whoever did them thought that being this way, they are the best way to transmit the process of assembling the flat furniture. If there's a guy in the picture, it's a very simple guy. And if there's a screw with an arrow, it's very clear from where to where this screw goes. And it, they are labeled with numbers and letters. So everything looks to be clear, clear and easy to understand. This is an example of no design design, or in short, no design. Another example of no design design would be a traffic sign. You don't have much time while you're driving to look at it. You don't have time to appreciate it and to value it aesthetically. So the sign is there to give you some information and it has to be a split second that once you look at it, you got it because there's no time. You pass the traffic sign and it's gone. You cannot look back at it. So this is another example. They are not made in a minimal way because traffic signs can be re reduced even more than how they are, but they are not because the main purpose is to transmit the information. It's kind of like industrial design, similar, but also not the same. Traffic signs go through an industrial process to make them, but the design of them, it's a no design design. It's stripped of any decoration, any accessory. They have like a border around the sign to make it like pop out a little bit more, but it's not for an aesthetical reason. It's for a practical reason. So now that you know, if you didn't know, or maybe you knew from before, but now you know what no design design is. I believe this game is the same. It's It follows the rules of the no design. It's a game that it's practical. It only worries that it tells and you understand the rules of each of the mazes. And because there are 20, it's not just one. Normally, one game has one mechanic and it develops this mechanic, for example, Cosmic Express or Gold Peaks or Dungeon and Puzzles that we've played in the in the channel. They have uh, one mechanic and they develop this mechanic. But this game, 20 small mazes, it has 20 different mechanics. Because even though they are mazes, each maze has a different mechanic. So it's like 20 small gimmicks applied to mazes. So it's like driving on the road. You don't have much time to play with the gimmick. You have this mechanic and it will last 5, 15 minutes, 1 minute, depending on the puzzle or how fast you are picking it up or if you want to play with it like we did in the, in the stream. There's not much time. There's no like 20 hours of this gimmick. So it's like the road sign. It has to be concise, it has to be straightforward, it has to be self-explanatory almost. And here comes my first positive. I don't have many positives or negatives about this game. And might be unusual compared to previous reviews. I have one positive and one negative. Still have to decide the negative how negative it is because 
I'll tell you when the time comes. And here comes my first positive, which is that this game has minimal instructions. There are some games that don't have tutorial, and I love those. I love those, like Golf Picks. It doesn't have a tutorial, because the game itself is the tutorial. There are games that don't have explicit tutorial. They have implicit. So while you play, at the same time that you play, you learn. This game is not one or the other. It has something in between, but still, Having 20, you could have a thick book, maybe, of instructions or a big text on the side so that the developers or developer make sure that you follow the rules, you understand and everything. But they didn't. They just gave you one sentence. It's not no instructions. No instructions would be like minimalism. Here there are little, it's the minimum that you need, but there are instructions. The minimum you need to understand how this works and how to solve the maze. Also, I don't think they are all mazes. They are 20 small puzzles. Some of them are mazes, but the way I see it, not all of them. Visually, they look like mazes because there are different ways to get to a place and you don't know which one is the correct one. But not all of the mazes are actual mazes. They are puzzles and they have their own mechanic, and their own gimmick. And what I like is that it does that. It transmits the information with very little explanation. Maybe the one that had more to say was the one that it was half done. Apparently, it was half done on purpose, not actually real half done. It was done or presented in a way that like it was a work in progress, but I, I believe, or that's what I took, that it was on purpose. It's like a name, a name, something pending, and it looked like broken, and the elements of the puzzle go outside the frame of the puzzle, like it's still putting pieces together. So I think it was on purpose. This one is the one I felt it had more instructions because it has like number one, number two, number three. It was more like a joke than actual I need to put to write the instructions so that you understand, I believe. And these are all my positives. Aside from that, I had fun. The most positive I can say because again, following the no design design, you don't present much. It's like making a critique of a traffic sign or a, an instruction. There's no much to criticize. There's no color, there's no art, there's no opinion, it is what it is, and, and it's a straightforward thing. The game is fun, the game is short, the game gives what it proposes, it transmits 20 small ideas with minimal text, that's fourth, that's all my positives. Now, I also have only one negative, and I was debating, because we have the precedent of Cosmic Express. Last week we reviewed Cosmic Express and I'll let you know so you know what I'm talking about. I criticized Cosmic Express for its music and I said that the music made the game worse because we played for 50 hours, I think, approximately, according to Steam. I think it's too much. The thing is that the negative of this game, 20 small mazes, that I see is the same as in Cosmic Express, the background music. What is going on with the background music? Why is it so weird? Why can't we have some nice music, nice background music? Just put a filler a melody. I don't understand if there's a like a um, Patreon or Kickstarter thing that you submit your entry because you paid something. I don't know what's going on. I don't know the whole story. Why there are birds? in the park chirping why there's the sound of raining it doesn't doesn't match with the game doesn't transmit me anything or i didn't understand and i don't think it's not the, it's the case that i didn't understand because this game is as i said very clear in its proposal so it shocked me the raining the birds there was some white noise like uh, tv interference sound so i don't know i would like to know as well, in this case, why they took this creative decision to put this this sound. And it sounds more prominently every time you finish a, a maze. When you finish one, you kind of unlock a sound or the sound is put up. And then when you start the next one, it like fades a little bit. It's not a big deal, but I put it in the middle ground on the negatives, contrary to Cosmic Express, because Cosmic Express, you play for longer, let's say, 15 hours you are listening to that 
annoying background music for 15 hours. This game took us around 2 hours. It's not that bad and the music changes and the sounds are recognizable. They don't make sense, still don't make sense and they don't go with the theme of the of the game but the difference between Cosmic Express and 20 Small Maze is that Cosmic Express is just a sound like a wave, very long wave. It's not recognizable melody and it lasts for let's say you play for 10 hours. This game it lasts for two hours and the sounds are recognizable. There's rain, birds, white noise. White noise is annoying noise but the other two are recognizable. So at least your brain can associate the sound with something unlike Cosmic Express. So still it's negative, still I don't understand, still uh, they don't make sense within the game. Nothing in the game makes you think of rain or birds or I don't know. So very short review today because the game was short and the game also in its proposal didn't offer much but this is what it is. And I believe the final score will not surprise you because probably, probably I already said what the final score is. And the final score, I'll reveal it now, unsurprisingly for 20 small mazes is an assembly manual out of 10. Because as I said, this game prioritizes functionality over aesthetics and visual appeal. It's very simple. It's hard to look at because it hasn't been elaborated in the visual department, in the visual aspect. It hasn't been overly designed. It has the minimal the, for you to understand what the game is about, the mechanic, and there's no decoration, there's no add-ons, there's no strip of everything accessory. Also, its priority is to teach you how to play and transmit the mechanic and how the maze works, how to solve it with very clear and very concise and very straightforward information. So there's not like a lot of text telling you about how to solve one maze. The idea of the maze is straightforward. The instructions should be also straightforward and not be overdone. So it would turn the game boring and didn't talk about difficulty. The curve of difficulty is pretty flat. The first maze could be same level of difficulty of the last. You might struggle with one or two like we did in the stream, but they are all equal, equal level of difficulty. Probably they are a bit in order of how elaborate the mechanic is. Like the last ones might be a bit more elaborated than the first one, which are more straightforward. But the puzzles are presented in a way that is clearest to understand and in the most probable order you want to solve them. So the more straightforward are presented in front of you and the more complex that you have to account for more elements, maybe are at the back, maybe, but just maybe, there are 20, there are not that many, so at the same time you can do them in any order. So the game gives you freedom to solve the mazes in any order that you want but they are presented laid out one on top of the other, mostly. So you should be solving them in the way they are proposing. So it's like an instruction manual. It goes in order. The process, you have to follow a process and you start from number one and then step two, step three, step four. This game is the same. You have to follow the order, but you can skip. If you already know how to do something between step one and four, you can skip two and three because you already know. Maybe you later have to go back because who knows? But this game felt like an instruction manual or an, uh, an assembly manual. So that's my final score for 20 small mazes. An assembly manual out of 10. And I recommend it. It was short. It was fun, straightforward, clear idea, clear proposal. I love that. I don't like games that have one idea and I stretch it for 20 hours. It lasts what it has to last. And it's honest. It's an honest game. And it was also free. But we don't talk about price. Whether they are very expensive or very cheap or free, we don't take the, that into account in on reviews. But special mention, it, I played for free. It's offered for free. I don't know if you can give donations, but uh, maybe it should say within the game because it was it was fun, it was pleasant. So maybe we could show some appreciation if within the game there was a link 
or some address or some connection to a place to give a, a donation. I don't know the whole story of this game. So how it came to be or as I said last time, hopefully soon we can have chats with developers so we can understand this better. Maybe the shortest review we've done in, in the stream. Also maybe the shortest game. Although Samoros one, it's hard to beat because it lasts 15 minutes. Thank you, 20 small maces, and thank you, Flep, whether you are one person or a team, for making this game.